Hi, I'm Chappie with Forge Tactical here for the Beretta Training Series. Today we're going to talk about making the pistol ready. I know this seems like a mundane subject, but it's actually vitally important. Uh, there's no worse feeling than needing to pull your gun in real life and pulling the trigger and it goes click. Making the pistol ready is a vital procedure that should be done consciously. Uh, this is not something that should ever become rote, both for safety reasons and also we want to make sure that we're not missing steps due to inattention. So we need to have our heads screwed on 100%. This is the same procedure I use when I'm getting ready for uh, patrol work as a law enforcement officer or a SWAT call. Uh, whether I'm doing training on the square range of the shoot house or I'm putting my pistol on uh, to carry as a CCW holder, this make ready procedure applies all the time. As I said before, we're looking for surety, so we're going to do things exactly the same way every time. We're also going to reinforce some of the central nervous system pathways that help us reload the pistol. You'll notice some similarities when you watch the Beretta training series video on emergency reloads with the movement. So the first step in making the pistol ready is to make sure that the pistol is ready to be loaded. So I'm going to draw it, pick it up off the counter, off my bag, uh, out of my dresser, whatever it is, and I'm going to hit the magazine release. I'm going to hit the magazine release. Even though I know there's not a magazine in it, I'm still building that pathway that to load the gun, I need to hit the magazine release first. Lock the slide to the rear. I'm going to visually and manually inspect the pistol and make sure there's nothing obviously wrong with it. There's no parts sticking out where there shouldn't be. Uh, it actually locks back. It doesn't continue to try to go into battery. Uh, the gun seems mechanically uh, fine to load. So I'm going to keep the gun in my workspace that we talked about uh, in emergency reloads. I'm going to keep it here. Both my hands are on the gun just like I've been shooting. I'm going to come to my emergency reload pouch. The emergency reload pouch is the pouch that you use instinctually. It's the one that your hand goes to first. Uh, for me, I keep my rifle and my pistol reloads right here. That's where my hand wants to go for an emergency reload. Uh, I may carry other magazines on my body and my chest rig or whatever, but this is where my hand comes to first. If you're carrying CCW where the pistol is your primary gun, you need to be carrying a spare magazine. Having a magazine pouch or you carry it in your pocket, whatever it is, that's where you need to make ready from, is from that emergency reload pouch. So I'm gonna grab that magazine, tip of the bullet to the tip of my finger, just like an emergency reload. I'm doing exactly the same thing. I'm also not wasting any motion. When I come here, I'm gonna get that reload. I'm gonna put the tip of my finger to the tip of the bullet and I'm gonna bring it straight to the pistol. Find the back of the magazine well with the back of the magazine. I'm gonna insert it, make sure it's set, and then I'm going to release the magazine. For me, I use the slide stop. Now, I come out on target, get a front sight focus, making sure my fingers straighten off the trigger, especially if I'm in my house. Then I'm gonna come back, look around, Get my wits about me, take a deep breath, see if there's anything else I need to do before I put my pistol away. Then I'm gonna execute a proper pistol reholstering procedure. I'm gonna look at it, then bring the muzzle down, make sure it's reholstered. Now I've made the pistol ready, but I'm still not done. I still need to backfill my emergency reload pouch. So I find another magazine, make sure it's set. Make sure I've got my flashlight and everything else if I'm getting ready for the day with my EDC. Now I've made ready with the gun. Doing your make ready procedure this way will allow you to not only make sure you have a pistol that's ready to fight, but also it will reinforce all of those pathways that you use in an emergency to reload the pistol or even do a reload with retention or a tactical reload uh, if you find yourself needing to. Thanks for watching this Beretta training series video on making the pistol ready. For more information, go to Beretta.com or winthefight.com, not only for information about what we're doing, but other training videos as well. I'm Chappie with Forge Tactical. Thanks for watching.